Exclusive Meghan Markle picks up fresh flowers and samples some honey at the Monsuto Farmer's Market without Harry and brings along her beloved pet beetle instead. Despite the market's no-dog policy, Meghan Markle broke cover on Friday to check out a local farmer's market. Days after the explosive Netflix Deal See You series with Prince Harry failed to score any Emmy nominations, the Duchess of Sussex was spotted stopping by the Monsuto Farmer's Market near the couple's $14.7 million mansion, but going without husband. The 41-year-old was instead accompanied by a security detail and one of the beloved pet beagles, despite the market's rule prohibiting dogs. But the former rule wasn't the only notable face checking out the farmer's market at the star-studded seaside town. Keith Hudson, the pastor father of Katy Perry, who grew up in Santa Barbara, was also spotted among the crowds shopping. And on that Tuesday's market, several local newspapers stopped by to interview buyers and sellers to promote and propagate the culture of the market. However, some people complained about a former actress who came here and got some flowers and Honey hired some reporters to take photos of her and the dog, which made people feel quite embarrassed and annoyed. Keith Hudson also expressed his attitude as he reiterated area laws when bringing pets and the trouble they can cause people in public places. They said such a sense of entitlement to take a dog to a dog-free market. It's not fair to stallholders to have to be looking out for dogs damaging their goods and stealing food. I was once selling plants at a farmer's market and a dog in a lead with its owner just cocked its leg and peed in one of the plant pots. I told them they should buy it, and they very reluctantly did. So the former actress needed the bodyguard to hold the dog and to pick up any dog poo, and then maybe hold a shopping bag on the way home. They both treat bodyguards like personal servants, like when they send them out for takeaways, etc. Megan broke the California Health and Safety Code, which prohibits live animals excluding service animals. If she brought a dog, she was misrepresenting it as a service animal, which is a misdemeanor under California law. What she did is ableist and so incredibly self-centered and nasty that annoyed locals and Keith Hudson. Service animals are necessary medical equipment that allows people with disabilities to have equal access and that allow them to function in public spaces. People who flout the laws by bringing their pets into spaces where only service animals are allowed make it much harder for disabled people to have safe access. It's a very big deal for people who bring their pet dogs into service dog-only spaces and dangerous service dogs. There are service dogs who had to be retired due to unexpected attacks by fake service animals in spaces where pets weren't allowed. Handlers expect other service dogs to act appropriately and not have pet dogs in service dog-only venues. Service dogs cost upwards of $20,000 and take years of training. Losing the ability to use their service dog may well render a disabled person unable to adequately function without distress or increased pain. The farmer's market is held weekly in the community rotating along four sections of the 1, 101, 200 blocks of Coast Village Road in the main retail sector of Montecito, according to the website.